here in the Senate because we just heard that the Biden administration has authorized the sale of $20 billion worth of weapons to Israel. And we are absolutely appalled by it. And we came here to see if we could get any senator who could introduce a joint resolution of disapproval to say no to those weapons. Israel is committing genocide with our weapons. They're making the world less safe for all of us. Israel and Palestine and here in the United States. Did anybody see about the uh, school that they bombed this week? Yes. Yeah, that was, that, yeah. The stories coming out of that, I, I just couldn't believe. And the fact that they are putting chunks of bodies in garbage bags and that aren't even matching. It's kind of like, here's your child, maybe. The timing is also interesting. How Israel is using those weapons to basically provoke Iran. And they want a, a regional war where they will pull the United States into it. Yep. And so now you give them $20 billion worth of what? Bombs to throw on children in Gaza and to provoke Iran. I think it's also important to understand that some of these weapons will come for many years. It locks us into this relationship with Israel no matter who is in the White House. Iron that flag. is terrible. The world, the world feels very, very unsafe because actually it's really only the United States and Israel, yes, the UK and Germany. Those are the only four countries in the world who see the situation this way. Everybody else understands that Israel is a danger to the world and the United States is a danger to the world. You know, it just comes weeks after the International Court of Justice said that the entire occupation of the West Bank, East Jerusalem and Gaza is totally illegal and there is a legal obligation that all the rest of the world has not to be supporting this occupation. So it is absolutely illegal. I think most of the world understands that our rules-based international world is totally bogus. We mean that for other people and definitely not for ourselves. So that's why we are here in the Senate building to say of the hundred senators, won't one of them step forward and introduce this joint resolution of disapproval, which would give us time to then push the rest of the senators to join on to that? There has to be some opposition. If you live in the United States, call your senator and tell them that you are absolutely disgusted that the U.S. is selling $20 billion of weapons to Israel in the midst of a genocide, and you want their senator to say no. No, no more weapons to Israel. No more weapons to Israel.